guys, what's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's October and it is time for Halloween tutorials. Like everywhere is blowing up with Halloween tutorials. I'm loving seeing all the creativity and everything that I like just genuinely love about makeup. So today I'm feeling very inspired to do something a little bit festive. <laughs> so I've Honestly, I've actually already done this look a few times, like I've practiced it and then I filmed it already, but I genuinely just wasn't happy with the results and I felt like I could just do better, you know? You know? You want to just like try and challenge yourself and make sure that you know you're doing a good job, especially when I'm like doing it for you guys. But today I am... Last time I ended up using face paints and I feel like the paints that I got, they weren't the best. It was a little bit hard to work with them so I feel like if I do it with makeup then it'll come out looking bomb as fuck. So I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay foundation for the pumpkin side of my face. Like if you didn't already know by the title, I'm doing a pumpkin look but I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay for the makeup side of things because I feel like this is a little bit more orangey so that should look okay and then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me on one side this is the Matte and Poreless um, Maybelline Fit Me foundation I've forgotten what shade this is this is in sun beige so this is like much lighter than my actual skin tone so the contrast should be good and then I'm going to be using a couple of other products to try and you know build this look up anyway let's get started because I've already been dragging this out for too long so I'm going to go ahead and tie my hair back I'm going to be taking a glue stick this is just like an ordinary glue stick I got it from Kmart and it was like 50 cents or something so I'm just going to take a spoolie and just brush my eyebrow hairs upwards and then using the glue stick I'm going to just press it quite firmly against my brows this is just going to ensure that the hair is not going to interfere with the product and you can kind of just draw over it and then I'm just going to wait for that to dry so that we can go over the top with a like a powder okay so I'm going to use the Australis banana powder just to go over the top Now that that's all done, I'm going to be using two foundations. This is the Revlon Colorstay in the color Caramel. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation. I think this is Sun Beige. Um, but basically, this one's going to be going along this side of my face. And this one is going to create the orangey kind of like pumpkin look. So I'm going to take this darker shade first. And then just on the back of my beauty blender. I'm just taking quite a generous amount and then patting that into my skin and I feel like if you have any like foundation shade that's just darker than your normal skin tone like a few shades darker like a lot darker than your normal skin tone I feel like that will work because you know it'll give you that orangey kind of effect and I'm just gonna bring it all the way down to my neck Now that I'm finished doing this side of my face, I'm going to be taking the lighter shade of foundation and then putting that over this side. Okay. 
So now I'm just taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then like as if I was highlighting my face basically. Okay, so my base is basically done and now I'm just going to use some of that banana powder and set the side of my face. So now that it's done, I'm going to be taking a black cream gel pencil and this one's by Revlon Color Stay and I like this one because it's really soft so it's easy to kind of work with and blend out. So with this pencil, I'm just going to create the eye shape for the pumpkin. And I'm just kind of going through my eyebrow and then coming back down. And just giving it like a bit of a sharper point here. And now that that shape is there, I'm just going to try and use my finger to kind of blend anything out. And then just taking a black eyeshadow, I'm going to fill in the rest of my eye. So the colour that I'm using is from the Back to Brazil palette. And I would show you, but uh, I mean it's a little worse for wear right now. So I'm really just pushing that shadow into the skin just to try and create as much pigment or pull out as much pigment as we can. And so because this isn't as clean as I'd like it to be, I'm just going to go in with a flat brush and then just tidy up some of the edges. So I'm just taking the same foundation and then just on a brush, really getting into the edges. And basically just drawing up the shape that I was like. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to use a black paint and I'm going to do the mouth area now. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. <laughs> and now I'm just going to do my nose.
Okay, so I've just gone over the shape of this area here just to create a nicer line where it's a little bit more like distinguished, I guess. So that you can just kind of tell that there's like definite, definitely a difference. Okay, so now I'm going to start drawing the lines for the pumpkin down my face. Okay, so for this part, I'm just going to be using the BYS eyeliner. This is just in a brown shade. And I'm going to like, start off this side. And I'm just drawing a few lines down my face. And I want to curve them a little bit, just to kind of represent like that shape, you know, that, that rounded shape of a pumpkin. And they don't have to be perfect lines because we're going to smudge them out and blur them out. So I've got the lines on. Now I'm going to take the Huda Beauty palette. I'm going to be using the shades Blazing and Saffron together. Okay, so my audio did mess up a little bit, um, so I'm going to be doing voiceover from here. But here I'm using the Kat Von D Brow Pomade in the colour Walnut, and I'm just using that to kind of go over my eyebrows and create a nice little look. And when you're doing eyebrows, ladies, make sure that you always fade it out in the front you know, where it's closer to the end portion of your eyebrows, just so that it looks a little bit more realistic and not so blockish and square. Okay, so here I'm taking the shades Saffron and OUD, and I'm just going to use both of those shades to create the outer portion of my eye look. So now I'm just taking the shade Saffron and I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the last eyeshadow that we put on there. And then I'm also dragging it across the crease just to create a little bit more depth. Okay, so once I'm done blending those two shadows, I'm going to take the Eye Divine palette by Sleek Makeup. And then I'm going to use the yellow shade and just putting it on my brow bone, I'm going to kind of blend it into the other shadows and then also blend it outwards so that it kind of fades, you know? I'm also just going to take that in the inner corner of my eyes and then also blend it above the red shadow just to kind of give it a little bit more of a highlighted effect. Now taking the shade Angelic from the Huda Beauty palette, this is kind of like a shimmer pink shadow. Um, I'm just going to place that over the top of my eyelid and then kind of blend it out into the rest of the shadows. And now that that's all done, I'm going to put on some eyeliner and lashes. This eyeliner is just a black liquid liner from e.l.f. and I'm just going to create a small wing across my eyes.
Now make sure that your eyeliner is dry before you move on to curling your lashes so that you know it doesn't mess up any of the beautiful eye makeup that you've just put on. So now I'm just applying some lashes and these are just really volume boosting eyelashes because that's kind of the look that I wanted to go for um, but you could apply anything really. And now I'm just using that yellow shade again just to create a few highlighted areas of the pumpkin and you know give it a bit more dimension. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything together. And if you wanted to take this time just to kind of fix anything up, for sure, go ahead and do that. So now I'm just taking this OXX highlighter and this is in the shade Ice Queen. I've really been loving this lately. I've um, really enjoyed just using something a little bit different because mainly I use a lot of like golden tones but this is a really really nice like silvery sheen. And then on to the next step. This is the very last part of the makeup look and what I've done is I've actually used I think it's like three parts uh, glycerin, uh, three parts gelatin, and then also four parts water. But I've also added a little bit of foundation, just a few drops of liquid foundation to create this skin tone. And I know that you can purchase this product, I think Mayron sells it and you can buy it online. Um, but I had the products lying around the house so I thought it would be a lot easier. But I think this may be a little bit harder to work with. I'm not 100% sure, obviously, because I don't have the other product. But this was definitely something that I struggled with because I had made it earlier and then I heated it up and then used it then. But what was difficult or what I found most difficult with this product is that every time it dried up, I had to keep running back to the microwave, heating it up and then running back <laughs> to film this video and... I don't know, if that's something that you don't really mind just because it's easier, like go hard basically. But just be aware that it does dry up. Hey guys, so that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys really liked it. Obviously, I, I like can't really talk properly, but I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed creating it, and um, yeah, I hope you guys just have fun this Halloween and just do something you wouldn't normally do, something outside the box or something that you just genuinely love doing. This was for me so so much fun. This is crazy. I like, love this. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.